Hi everyone, welcome to my members program. I offer three tiers. Tier 1 is monthly predictions with some extra transit analysis videos. Tier 2 has exclusive pick a card readings that I don't post on my main channel. Tier 3 is astrology, remedies and more esoteric knowledge. And how to heal our planets, how to learn tarot as well, how to start your own YouTube channel. These are some of the videos I've recently posted. So please join our members community. Thank you. Hello group number one. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a special video which is in collaboration with Samantha from Psychic Siren Tarot. So this is a two part video. I'm going to link her part down below. Please watch it. It's on how people view you and check out her channel in general she has a lot of videos on there more than 500 videos she's obviously really good she has a lot of subscribers and uh, some of you probably already know of her so check out her channel subscribe show her some love and support from our side and the funny thing you actually got the siren card which is so fitting for this reading but the siren <laughs> card came out that's lovely um so yeah today's video what I'm doing is how people, what people think of you. So this is the card you chose. We have the hummingbird here. I'm going to take a few of these and I'll start your reading. If you're coming over from Samantha's channel, welcome. I'm Shashi. I'm more of an intuitive tarot reader. I incorporate a lot of astrology, especially Vedic astrology into my readings. So I hope you like that and it resonates with you. So we have hummingbird. We have this card daughter of swords this is page of swords we have the card love for nakshatra we have mula this falls in sagittarius we have siren of course we have the mother the creator So right off the bat, I'm getting strong feminine energy with this pile. We have mother here, obviously. This is giving me moon energy. We see a pearl, we see a nest, which is natural fourth house cancer energy. With Siren in the creator also, it's giving me Venus. We have love, which is also connected to Venus. So strong feminine energy so far, both the, the most, ma uh, most masculine signs are Sun, Mars. And the most feminine uh, planets are Moon and Venus. So strong Moon and Venus with this pile. Whoever's picking this pile, I feel like you guys are very feminine. This is how people think of you. They find you very feminine. They find you someone who's very creative with this creator energy. The hummingbird also had one of the keywords was um, curious to learn. There are curiosity, there's creativity. You're talented. You have different talents even when you look at these cards see how similar the imagery is on these two cards very similar so someone who's creative naturally gifted talented you could be someone who could pursue your hobby as a career by number one and you might be known for having multiple talents or having creative talents let's say maybe some of you could sing some of you could be good painters dancers something like this or even good cooks with uh, this mother energy i'm getting that as well there's something about you where you do things a very particular way and uh, you stand out with your talent you could have multiple talents also and naturally creative one more thing i'm getting is with this jewel you could be really good looking this is giving me chitra nakshatra energy chitra also the pearl here that is also very much like chitra the gemstone the gem that's a symbol for chitra it falls in uh, its own virgo and libra cusp i'm getting strong libra also with this pile obviously because we have venus energy so taurus libra cancer energy in general and for nakshatras mula we have chitra chitra is also connected with people who make things more beautiful because they have an understanding of aesthetics and they're good looking themselves and they make everything look better so some of you 
could have strong chitra placements this is connected with a person who is good looking they work on their looks they put a lot of effort behind the look and appearance and also people who could be good wear the let's say interior decor or uh, maybe they are doing something with architecture or fashion you guys could have a, a really nice sense of style the way you dress could be very attractive or you could naturally be very good looking people are drawn towards you because of uh, how seductive you look this saturn card is the temperate temptress the seductress and we have the love also almost like this Im imagery of cupid here so people could fall for you very quickly they could uh, romanticize you they could uh, be highly attracted to you find you very attractive give you a lot of attention love at first sight that sort of energy is also there people definitely compliment your looks and your style that's one thing i'm getting uh, and highly feminine also like i said before with the hummingbird this gives a personality of a person who's very vibrant fun energetic a person who's a uh, something about them is uh, bright like the jewel it's like you shine from within so there's some inner beauty that gets reflected out outwards with you and uh, I feel like just the kind of personality you have you you could be more passive when it comes to your love life with this feminine energy maybe you attract people towards you but in general you are this person who's a uh, very loving very generous you have nice energy people are drawn towards you because of your energy pile number one you could also be very nurturing towards the people that you love you're very caring you protect them you could be very protective because we do have sagittarius energy which is connected with sometimes defending the ones that you love here also we see a sword right and we have a bow an arrow again kind of like weapons coming up here so you could be very protective nurturing caring you could be a good host you like to host people at your home fourth house energy of cancer curiosity always looking to learn you could have mercury also prominent in your chart maybe you look very young or you have young looking features with moola this also gives that energy of going to the bottom of things here also we see the um whatever this is mermaid fish whale whatever diving into the water so going to the depth of things that is very much the moola quality going to the bottom and it's also connected with roots so laying down roots laying down a foundation we have the fourth house energy with cancer so it's that energy of investing in people taking care of people nurturing being consistent being reliable always showing up this is not that energy of i'm here for a good time not for a long time you are here for a good time and a long time pile number 1 people appreciate you they think of you as a reliable person a consistent person as a very loving generous person and you're full of love this is the people for the people that you care about but also but also in general you could be someone who maybe you date a lot or you are always getting proposals you are always uh, the popular choice everyone's interested in you because you're good looking you could be the popular one pile number 1 Let's keep going. Let's look at some astrology cards that you got. We have Mars here, tenth house. Leo. See, uh, I was talking about popularity, and you got the Leo card, which is Sun. Sun always talks about popularity and fame. Moon can also give fame. So some of you guys, with your art, you could have the ability to connect with the masses. that's one thing i'm getting your art could be there could be an emotional angle to it or people just resonate with it it's more than just something that looks good there's depth to it that's what i'm getting with 10th house mars you could be someone who's very passionate about your work with this venus mars energy naturally people will be drawn towards you they feel a they feel a pull towards you you're magnetic 5th house energy of dating so like i said active dating life or actively people looking to date you go to you uh, there's a big energy around you which is about people being interested in you whether you date them or not that's up to you 
but there's big energy there where there's always options people are interested you're looking good you're glowing up and people want to date you picking up strongly you could also be very romantic with all this venus energy coming through you could be very romantic very feminine very attractive and looking your best that sort of energy here also i'm drawn towards a lipstick i wonder why they put the lipstick uh, with mars i always think of that it's very a venus like thing but they put it here i don't know because mars can sometimes talk about the animalistic attraction more so then just the love venus is love but mars is that attraction so people could feel that instant attraction towards you but also once they get to know you you are very feminine you are very venus and loving and nurturing with the moon so i think you're a catch people see you in a good light people think of you as someone they want to date for sure here also i see um, two thrones here it's not one so it's like a power couple sort of a dynamic that i'm picking up people think of you as if they were to court you date you they would be a power couple here also i see spotlights see so this is about you making them look good so positive sort of uh, image people have of you in their mind they also think of you as very loving in relationships you would be very giving very generous very devoted very fun romantic so definitely uh, they would want a partner like you pile number 1 some placements you could have you obviously could have mars in 10th you could have mars in leo you could have um maybe leo ascendant mars in the first house maybe capricorn ascendant but i was also picking up this energy of venus and moon a uh, sagittarius ascendant could be there you could have venus and moon conjunction or venus or moon sitting in fourth house something about cancer also prominent maybe so these placements could be there in your chart some of these could be there maybe venus debilitated also that also makes a person uh good looking has good money dresses really well expends uh, spends money on their clothes and fashion and also person who's really good with aesthetics that's a, a debilitated venus quality where people are really good with decor and uh, looking nice dressing nice you know putting a lot of effort there because venus is debilitated wherever the planet is debilitated we tend to put a lot of effort there throughout our life if it's exalted it comes naturally to us so we don't have to work on it as much so that's what i'm picking so far we have moon, full moon in aries fiery climax approaches so again people feel natural chemistry towards you aries is about um instantaneous uh, impulsive action so people just look at you and they want more of you they want to connect with you court you aries energy you could attract a lot of aries people you could have strong venus and um moon that's why maybe you attract a lot of masculine men people with a lot of um mars and sun like i was earlier saying these are the two most masculine planets sun and mars fiery signs and you have venus and moon so you could attract a lot of people with those pla uh, those placements for sure here we have balance temperance i love this imagery we have rest and reconsider one thing i'm getting is you could be a little um hard to impress you could be someone who would turn people down so there is a fear of rejection people might feel coming from your side they fear getting rejected with this balance energy what i'm picking up is obviously it's giving me libra it's uh, giving me libra energy also giving me gemini because we usually see the twins on the card and it's almost as if two people are merging together giving me gemini energy but with this balance it's like you're very much in balance with the masculine and the feminine and you could be very good at the art of seduction i feel even with the siren coming up this balance it's like you know how to get what you want and you know how to impress people you know um i don't know i feel like you could be someone pile number 1 who puts so much thought and effort behind everything you are someone who really works on themselves look uh, you know maybe when it comes to fashion makeup how should i talk how should i walk uh, let me look into art of seduction let me look into uh, body language and all these things i feel like you you could put a lot of effort there or it naturally comes to you you're really good at it so it could be effortless or 
a lot of work that you put into it but you come across as very polished and you make it look effortless and there's a lot of effort behind the scenes going on so that's the energy i'm picking up with you pile number one I also did a video on what's your seduction style. I've done two videos on that topic. So if you're interested, check those out. I think those are relevant to your pile. So let's look at some tarot that I pulled for you. I usually go with one major arcana, one minor arcana, one court card. So you got the six of swords, the star, seven of coins. See, so that energy of the star is here again. Chitra is that um, there's a gem card in this deck and the story that they put there is how the gem stands out from all of its surroundings this is very much your energy where you stand out from the people besides you around you and it's giving me that image here also with this particular star shining very brightly we have other stars around it there is a d distance between you and people people look at you and they might put you on a pedestal they might feel like wow this person so high maintenance or there's something about you having star quality which makes people feel a little insecure. They might feel like you might not be interested in them. There's a fear of rejection also. But uh, people see you in a good light. People think of you as a person whose um, quality, whose uh, relationship material, marriage material. But still it, it's going to require a lot of effort on their part. This also sometimes make me it makes me think of marriage, this uh, homa, because in our tradition we have uh, this sort of a ritual during weddings. So yeah, it's making me think of that for sure. It also makes me think of transformation person who's been through a lot or who puts a lot of hard work behind their actions. So it's that transformative action or that energy of fire where whatever we put into fire, it changes, it transforms. That's why fire has a lot of uh, connection with transformation. The phoenix, we see a lot of fire imagery there, right? So this is you having a glow up or coming of age, putting a lot of effort. Maybe you're late bloomers, pile number one. But also this transition, it's like you've changed. There's something with you that has changed. Some of you picking this pile, maybe there was a major shift or pivot in your life. Something happened where you uh, changed or you glowed up, you leveled up. There could have been... a uh, energy shift or a pivot with the six of swords energy i'm getting that and people think of you as someone who's changed over time you've really blossomed and they see you in good light they see you as a star that's how they perceive you pile number one i hope this resonates with you and you enjoyed this reading reading let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like my videos you want to support my channel please consider becoming a member and obviously go and uh, watch Samantha's video. I'm going to link it. Make sure to leave some um, love on her channel. And finally, if you're looking to book a reading with me, the link will be in the description. My email is also there. So write to me if you want. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Hello, group number two. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm doing a special collaboration with Samantha from Psychic Siren Tarot. I'm going to link her channel down below. Please subscribe to her. Um, you probably already know of her. She's really good. She has a lot of videos on her channel. So you'll definitely, I think, find a lot of readings that uh, you'll be interested in. And this is a two-part video. She's going to be doing how people view you. And I'm doing what people think of you. I'll uh, try to incorporate more current messages also if they come through. So this is today's reading what people think of you i'm gonna link uh, samantha's video also down below so please check it out leave some comments support her and subscribe to her channel if you're not already if you're coming from samantha's channel welcome i'm shashi i'm more of an intuitive tarot reader i incorporate a lot of astrology into my readings so i hope you'll find them helpful and you'll enjoy them so let's do today's video i'll start with these cards first so you chose the phoenix, which makes me think of Scorpio energy. It's about transformation changing. We have the star, Aquarius energy. We have soldier, always makes me think of Mars because Mars is connected to fighting, army, soldiers in general. We have for Nakshatra, we have Uttara Falguni. Don't mind my 
handwriting it's not that great this one falls in its cusp of leo and libra okay and more uh, fiery energy also with this particular one we have the crone we have the judge makes me think of libra energy maybe um, venus and saturn conjunction saturn and ketu conjunction saturn in general also makes me think of uh, the law and judge we have the bridge again ketu so some of you guys could have a prominent ketu maybe scorpio ascendant because ketu co rules scorpio we have a bridge which is usually um, bridges are um, one of the signs or just in general bridges are ketu ketu energy even stairs ketu energy so we have saturn here so some of you could have saturn ketu you could have saturn in scorpio you could have scorpio ascendant ketu in the first house what else maybe ketu in pisces because we have this big um water body ocean like which makes me think of pisces so anyway let's talk about the energies that i'm picking up overall so the way that people perceive you pile number 2 what do they think of you they think of you as a person who's a um hard to fight with i think you're someone who could be really good at competition competing with other people you're very energetic there's strong masculine energy also i'm picking up with so much mars coming off right off the bat you do have some star quality you stand out from the people besides you you know we see small little stars on the side but you stand out there's something about your energy your charisma your charm who you are as a person you're very unique you're different you kind of take the center stage somehow even though you could be passive with the scorpio energy and this crone energy you could be someone who's more mysterious um this is also the card of diplomacy so someone more diplomatic maybe doesn't ruffle the feathers but uh, your aura is very strong you might not speak a whole lot you might be more quiet more introverted but your presence is something that people do tend to notice with the star quality you could be someone who has strong beliefs strong moral strong opinions on things you don't budge you could be stubborn but people don't want to fight you you're very uh, particular about your opinions you're very self assured you're someone who thinks for themselves not easily influenced so people feel like they cannot influence you they cannot debate you they cannot argue with you you're kind of a force to be reckoned with you could be also slightly defensive with this a soldier energy it's like you hold your opinions close to your chest and uh, you're ready to defend them but there's some spiritual uh, quality also I'm picking up with this pile some of you guys could be really good at uh, maybe psychic work you could be psychic you could have a great intuition you could be into occult practices practices because we have the crone this one talks about uh, a witch and we have the bridge connection so someone who could be good at channeling so clairvoyance clairaudient all those qualities maybe some of you guys have those qualities and you connect with the spirit world or you just have this natural ability to channel your spirit guides channel intuition connect with the higher realms even with the star this does talk about astrology also here so maybe you have one of those interests it could be a big part of your personality let's say uh, maybe it's not your career but it's a big part of your life or you're just naturally spiritual naturally gifted in these areas especially with so much ketu coming out ketu is uh, connected with detachment a person who might not have a huge friends group person who um, is independent self sufficient not looking to impress anyone also a person who doesn't have a whole lot of desires not the most uh person who's uh, has like major big desires i want to do this i want to do that you're just looking for the answers you're looking for the hidden knowledge you're looking for a purpose to your life and you're not trying to impress anyone you're not looking for attention your happiness and fulfillment comes from the inside i feel like this is how people think of you that you're hard to impress um you're not looking to impress anyone you're not looking for 
their validation people feel like they, uh, you could also have a wall up maybe it's not easy to connect with you especially on the deeper area or in the deeper sense because you could be diplomatic with this judge energy you're diplomatic you could have social skills you're obviously the star so a lot of people come to you they're naturally drawn towards you and with these birds also coming out so you could definitely have good communication skills social skills in general maybe you're in the public eye also with this bridge also it talks about connection so you might find it easy to connect with people in the sense that you understand where they're coming from you can help them maybe with your career also you could have a career where you help people especially the ones struggling the downtrodden really um, people going through a tough time maybe uh, you serve those people you help them you guide them you're the helping hand somehow there's so many hand imageries so maybe hasta nakshatra could also be prominent in your chart but yeah you're reaching out to help people or this can just the reaching of the hand can talk about connection being um social being in the public eye something like this could be there and i think the uttara falguni i don't know if it's uttara falguni or purva falguni but it can sometimes talk about uh, a stage so being again in the public eye having a stage people listening to you people following you so maybe you don't feel a strong connect it's not that you have an emotional connection with people but you're good at understanding other people's emotions their psychology you help them people are naturally drawn towards you this is the main thing that i'm picking up here where you're being just you're helping others with your challenge uh, with your talents and uh, your gifts you're naturally gifted but uh, you might also find it hard to bond with people especially emotionally you find it hard to meet people with your same energy that's what i'm getting so far so people feel a distance from you but they also feel understood understood in your energy in your presence and people want to bond with you people want to get to know you better break those walls connect with you a little bit more but you're also very because with soldier it's mars energy mars is the independent person soldier leaves the family behind to fight for the country or defend the land right star is also reminds me of it's lonely at the top so you've gone through some difficult experiences in your life with this phoenix but it, it has transformed you now you have the knowledge the wisdom to guide others that's what i'm getting let's look at some of the cards we have libra so again that energy of uh, law being just we have eighth house energy that i was picking up earlier we have capricorn and we have venus so yeah venus and saturn energy i was right i didn't look at these cards i had set them aside and i took a break after doing the pile uh, the first pile so yeah i don't remember all the cards but this energy was very prominent of eighth house scorpio energy and venus and saturn coming together you could have saturn and venus trine in your chart you could have obviously venus in capricorn you could have venus in libra you could be a scorpio ascendant libra ascendant capricorn ascendant but there's some connection between venus and saturn in your chart that's why uh, it can cause restriction in your love life it can cause delays in your love life or you will be naturally drawn towards a person who's mature person who's hard working and uh, love life blooms later on in life so there are delays because saturn delays things you might not be the most romantic also or maybe you're not expressive when it comes to your romantic feelings so people perceive you as a little bit cold they look at you as a good partner with libra coming up so you're a good partner you're just you're kind uh, you would be dedicated and devoted to your partner this is how people uh, think of you but there's a mystery here and also this uh, energy of not really feeling sure about your feelings so people might feel like does this person like me do they not like me who do they like are they looking for a relationship you're kind of a mystery yeah that's what i'm getting so far hmm let's look at some of the cards we have a win win outcome is forecast full moon in libra more libra energy for you again this this romantic energy i'm picking up i think just because you're a little closed off and you're hard to impress you might not date around a whole lot and you're the sincere sort of a person reliable responsible more mature that people think of you as a 
relationship material that's what i'm getting with these cards we have embrace number 21 we have number 12 observe so i love how there's a mirroring going on here and here we have um, a bunch of people this is the world energy this is the world card if i'm not wrong and this is um temperance i think but yeah you're a good observer you're a good listener you make people feel understood people like being in your presence and you also have this worldly view where you have a, a broader image you are you have a broad perspective on things you have you give good advice you're very wise pile number 2 people appreciate your intelligence and your wisdom again people might come to you with their problems they might vent out their frustrations in front of you look for you uh, when it comes to advice you could also be someone who does really well with the people from different cultures backgrounds all of that you're very worldly with this embrace energy it's like you embrace everyone you're looking for justice for everyone so people what they think of you is a person who's very just very kind very open to them however um it's open energy to communicate but it's not the same as uh, forming a deep emotional bond you create restriction there but also this creates chemistry you know when you don't you're not really sure what the person feels it also creates chemistry there there could be a little bit of push and pull dynamic with your romantic interests that's why maybe they catch feelings for you let's look at some tarot i pulled three cards i usually go with major one major arcana one minor arcana one court card that's how i do it we have page of swords eight of swords judgment so again judgment we have the judge card there's something here about karma i think you could be someone who's very uh, you have strong morals and you have principles you are very righteous you could have a strong sun also in your chart sun is the one that's connected with morals and righteousness someone who's very particular about uh, how they move in their life so you're someone who's very concerned with how you treat people and your karma what's your contribution to society you also want to do uh, your work could be very important to you with venus and saturn energy coming up this can show your love for your work your career your reputation your uh, like i said contribution to society 10th house energy connected with capricorn so um you are someone who overthinks also strong mental uh, energy that i'm picking up lots of air in this pile pile number 1 was uh, more so water and fire this is a lot of air that's coming through air and fire so far so yeah lots of thinking lots of obsessing over uh, thoughts obsessive thinking you could be someone who thinks thinks through before acting and you're very concerned about uh, how people um the treatment that you give to other people and this is also again giving me mars energy the monkey you know monkey is connected to lord hanuman and he is uh, the archetype of mangal mars so strong mars with this pile lots of independence that i'm picking up and fighting for other people with the soldier energy you could be fighting for other people somehow or a person who's uh, very independent very self sufficient and uh, looking to self actualize looking to pursue their dreams their passions and maybe leave behind a legacy also eighth house can also be legacy capricorn maybe uh, you're really concerned with the uh, uh, what you do in your life your life purpose page of swords is also that energy of looking and gathering information so there's a curiosity there there's a uh, feeling of wanting to learn more things to grow to build skills intellectual energy you could be very intelligent people perceive you as someone who's intelligent someone who's thorough research oriented eighth house is also research mars is the significator mars has strong connection with eighth house it rules scorpio obviously and there's some connection of mars with research so you are someone who's very thorough very research oriented looking for data looking for all the information there is and then making a decision so you're very thorough with the process so people take you seriously people think of you as someone who's responsible sincere and there's a lot of respect also coming through the overall opinion is very positive and uh, 
a more so of a mature sort of person old soul yeah that's what i'm getting for you pile number 2 i'm going to end it here i hope this resonated with you leave your comments in the feedback and go and watch samantha's video from psychic siren tarot i don't know why it's almost like a tongue twister for me so i'm going to link the video down below subscribe to her channel watch the video and if you like my videos and you want to support my work please consider becoming a member i've recently just started a series on how to heal your planets on tier number 3 if you're interested check it out i'm going to post moon soon especially if you have moon in scorpio you should check that video out so yeah even moon in cancer it can give a lot of trouble sometimes but anyway um for those of you who are looking for booking a reading with me you can email me the link um the kofi link will be in the description and my email address will also be in the description so check that out thank you for watching bye guys Hello group members here welcome to your reading today today i'm doing a special collaboration with Samantha from Psychic Siren Tarot so i'm going to link her video it's a two part video she's going to do how people view you i'm doing what people think of you so um watch her video as well i'm going to link it and you can subscribe to her channel she has a lot of videos there i think you'll find some interesting videos and uh, she's obviously a much bigger um channel than mine and she's obviously really good so check out her work support her and let her know i sent you and for today's video like i said i'm doing what people think of you this is the card you chose i'm going to get started with the video let's start with these cards first and by the way if you're coming over from samantha's channel welcome i'm shashi i'm more of an intuitive tarot reader and i incorporate a lot of astrology vedic astrology into my reading so i hope you like that so let's start we have the lamb here nice energy so far uh, very sweet we have judgment with this bird we have the lovers more birds for you <laughs> we have the letter strong mercury so far i'm picking up with this pile because we have birds a lot of birds here lots of greens also and letter so writing is uh, mercury right we have rohini where does rohini fall i think it is taurus and gemini maybe cusp is it or maybe it's in taurus but i think definitely taurus gemini maybe we have mystic for nakshatra i use nakshatras in my reading so this is rohini nakshatra we have the mystic we have the heart we have the village with ketu in the back mountain is ketu we have butterfly makes me think of scorpio energy i always channel scorpio on my um, channel in most of the readings maybe because uh, I attract that energy. I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart, obviously. Um, but yeah, let's see. Overall, what I'm picking up with this pile, particularly, is gentle energy, sweet energy. There is uh, this nurturing quality I'm picking up with this pile. With the lovers showing up, you are very loving. Lamb is also the key words were someone who's patient, um, consistent, quiet, slightly spiritual. So someone who maybe meditates has some spiritual. uh maybe practices with this pile but people look at you as someone who's uh, patient easy going you could be someone pile number 3 who doesn't like confrontation you like things to be easy you could be someone who might go through you know might deal with some demons but you come out on top and you come across as a person who's very gentle and graceful you might not talk about your hardships you keep things light light hearted and you find it easy to connect with people you could be someone who's very loving with this lovers energy coming up we have the heart also it's like your heart center is very active and you find it easy to connect with people you find it easy to see the good in people it's reminding me of that quote uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder we have the eye here very prominent so you connect with people's deeper soul you see their pure um energy not the fluff you kind of let that go and you 
you easily connect with people you could also be someone who's very romantic very flirtatious very charming that's how people see you pile number 3 like you have good energy you're very nice you could give uh, compliments to other people maybe giving compliments is your love language maybe your love life is also quite prominent when it comes to your personality or people tend to just maybe uh, just ask you about who are you dating and maybe you give good advice when it comes to love but something about your dating life is definitely coming up or this could talk about maybe a lot of people are interested in you people constantly just asking you out or even your friends uh, hitting on you something like this could be there you're very charming pile number 3 that's what i'm getting with this almost gives me that energy of love letter rohini is also everyone's favorite she is the uh, there's the story of the moon god having 27 wives and out of all the wives the 27 nakshatras uh, rohini was his favorite so the favorite one is rohini also the blushing bride the good looking one the uh, the most uh, attractive one that's your energy pile number 3 you're very attractive and people are naturally drawn towards your energy this could also give you the evil eye from some people a lot of people feel jealous of you because you get all the attention you could be someone let's say if you are part of a big friends group you would be the one who gets the most attention from other people you would be the one who gets the most proposals or uh, you're everyone's favorite that's what i'm getting with all this mercury also you find it easy to connect with people and to make friends and to get maybe people give uh, do favors for you something like this but it's your communication the the way you connect with people it comes naturally to you you could be someone who has a lot of uh, great social skills hmm and village also uh, this talks about community uh, your roots where you're coming from so you could be very much in touch with that you could be someone who is very family oriented there's a lot of support from your family probably or you're very close to your family you treat people like they're your family you nurture them you look after them there could be something to do with also your fourth house i feel with this village energy i'm thinking of fourth house uh fourth house is the place where we live at our soul family also our mother our nurturing capability the people that we nurture that's fourth house and it's also your emotional fulfillment so uh the energy i'm picking up is the people who are close to you you take care of them if they are upset you are upset so you do everything to make them happy you're very generous you're very giving pile number 3 people notice that about you they think that you have a great heart you have a big heart you're very generous very open to people you're uh, also very intuitive because fourth house naturally is moon moon gives intuition right very family oriented you also come across as marriage material someone who would be very homely like a good mother or a good father depends on who's watching but very homely very nurturing you could also be someone who maybe cooks for others or the people that you love you cook for them yeah that's what i'm getting let's keep going with the other cards but patient energy patient very kind very patient very gentle sweet energy so far we have aries third house ascendant so this is definitely talking about a person who's attractive aries is that fiery energy of attraction it's ruled by mars which is passion and um also the animalistic attraction that we feel towards someone also wanting to take action it says the fire starter so naturally people are drawn towards you ascendant is the body the looks the physical being the material manifestation of your reality that's ascendant so it's talking about body here so you could be attractive pile number 3 you could have naturally good looks people are um drawn towards you they find you very attractive they want to ask you out they want to date you they are impressed by you third house is your communication skills like i said earlier third house is also gemini energy so gemini um uh, is a little misunderstood when it comes to zodiac signs gemini is um you usually see the twins on the card what does it mean two people showing up as the symbol it means interaction between people 
so someone with gemini placements will naturally be good at communicating will be good at connecting with other people and they do well around people they have good people skills right connection is also coming in contact forming a bond that's something you're good at and third house is naturally our communication what we say it can also be sense of humor the way you communicate your style your speech um your sense of humor maybe you're charming you you're really good at flirting something like this could be there pile number 3 you could get compliments on that but third house is also friendship it's also short distance travel so people like being in your presence they like hanging out with you so if there's a social outing people would be like hey please go out pile number 3 please show up i won't go without you something like this could be there you you're the favorite right and friendship so maybe there's this energy of forming a lot of friends everyone wants to be your friend and there could be this energy where if you are not attracted you will consider someone a friend you will friend zone them but the person's interested in you so there could be the situation a lot where you experience this where people are interested but you are not interested you friend zone those people so that's one thing also i'm picking up you could be very talented also gemini is that energy of multiplicity multiple things multiple talents person who's jack of all trades right so people are naturally impressed by you they feel like wow this person can do everything they're just so fun exciting air energy air element with gemini here also we had gemini energy with the lovers so it shows a person who's uh, always there something going on very curious always looking to learn something always looking for some sort of stimulation doing something going here going there always something is happening very exciting sort of a person okay next up we have number 9 this is hermit so more mercury lots of green here we see two birds so makes me think of love birds we have seek so seeking very much on what i was talking about curious looking for something curious mind very patient also here also we see this the lamb was talking about patience here we, we see a person who's very quiet sitting in contemplating meditating you know that quiet easy going energy someone who doesn't want to create chaos someone who likes peace someone who doesn't like confrontation that's not your energy we have master more green so there's so much green coming up here also we have green this is five of cups change your focus so so much green is coming through green is connected to the heart center heart chakra so again it's um, people fall in love with you people connect with you whether it's uh, as a friend or as a lover people like your energy overall with the three piles i feel like this is the pile where people um want more and more of you and uh, they're very open to you and obviously they see you in a positive light with so much green this is also talking about mercury the green color is connected to mercury people want to be friends with you and uh, some of the people even might not speak about their feelings for you because they like the friendship they want to maintain that here also we see the heart the branches as the heart we have the heart here there's so much about heart love in this pile so i feel like everyone most people have a good opinion of you most people like you pile number 3 they think you're a good person and you have a big heart you're very generous very kind very sweet it's time to take action new moon in aries so some of you guys could have moon uh in aries you could have gemini ascendant Ge gemini moon aries ascendant there's so much aries and gemini in this pile maybe you have mars and mercury conjunct sitting together maybe uh, virgo also with this hermit card so that's what i'm getting let's look at some tarot that i pulled for you i go i usually pull one major arcana one minor arcana one court card so you got death this is scorpio i always get scorpio energy in most of my piles <laughs> this is interesting we have three of swords okay we have three of swords knight of wands and you also got the hierophant i kept it because there was already so much about love and relationships so i thought you know maybe this is relevant let me keep it so you got two major arcana so with death it's talking about how you could 
easily influence other people or you could impact other people's life death is about transformation scorpio energy so you come out of nowhere people catch feelings for you or people change because of your presence in their life you have the capability to influence others and you become a integral part of their life that's what i'm getting with higher of and there's a, a spiritual spiritual connection people feel with you and also um it's jupiter energy i always think of higher of and i think of jupiter because jupiter is the guru the teacher so jupiter is positivity it's wisdom it's good guidance it's uh, embracing something with open arms and feeling better just optimistic positive energy that's what you bring to people so people view you in a positive light people learn from you with this jupiter energy and mercury is the natural student also so we have the guru and the shishya the teacher and the student showing up in this pile three of swords i feel like a lot of people heal because of you especially the people who are hurt heartbroken might come to you they might tell you about their failed relationships you might give good advice when it comes to love and relationships maybe you have a career where you guide people especially heartbroken people maybe uh, you're a teacher of some kind also hierophant is connected to jupiter energy of a teacher so you could be a teacher and there's again some connection with travel so people love traveling with you people love um hanging out with you short distance travel so naturally maybe every day hanging out with you um something like this could be there but uh, again coming back to three of swords people who are heartbroken come to you this can also talk about maybe you've been heartbroken that's why you're so nice to other people because you know what it feels like or uh, you didn't get jaded because of your heartbreak or your difficult uh, experiences that you went through you have kindness in your heart you're very um i don't know you're nice to people definitely with three of swords maybe um people who've been hurt in the past who find it hard to trust again who are looking for a partner they might come across you pile number 3 and they might again feel like okay this is the sort of person where i feel like i can try again i can take the risk of falling in love again so that's a very specific message coming through but you have good fun energy with this knight of wands is a person that you want to hang out with you want to have go on an adventure with you want to travel with learn from and spend time with that's your energy pile number 3 this is how people this is what people think of you that you're intelligent you're kind you're sweet you have a big heart you're very generous and you have fun energy so that's the reading for you pile number 3 i hope this resonates please leave your feedback in the comments check out samantha's video and her channel in general support her channel if you like my videos and you want to support my channel consider becoming a member that would really help me out if you're looking to book a private reading with me check out the description my email will be there you can write to me okay thank you for watching bye guys